Jeff Rothorn for Get Out There Magazine, and I'm at Chain Lake State Park in Indiana for the Indiana Trail 100. We're almost ready to start. Let's go check it out. The Indiana Trail 100 offers 50 mile, 100 kilometer, and 100 mile races, all of which take place primarily on a 20 mile looped course with some minor variations for the 50 mile and 100 kilometer events. The 100 mile runners complete the loop five times in total and are given 30 hours to do so. To start, the trails were in perfect condition and the course is exceptionally well marked. In fact, it would be next to impossible to go off course. Although the entire route is made up of small rolling hills, they are all runnable and if the weather cooperates, the race can certainly be a very fast one. There is a combination of beautiful winding single track, which is my favorite, as well as double track and a couple of very short road sections. The trails are smooth and non-technical and the race crew went above and beyond to clearly mark any potential hazards to keep the runners safe. 12 kilometers in, sun's up. Looks like a beautiful day. We're getting a lot of rain later and uh, expecting some storms, so we'll see what happens. Conditions are great right now. Course is beautiful. Everybody that I spoke with agreed that the most impressive aspect of this race was the aid stations, and more specifically, the aid station volunteers. The aid stations were close together and each had a unique theme, like the Dr. Seuss station and the 1980s station. As soon as we entered the heated tents, we were greeted by volunteers who worked quickly to help us and get us on our way. There were so many food choices at the aid stations that even the pickiest of runners were satisfied. Going into the race, the weather forecast was absolutely horrible, calling for rain and thunderstorms for pretty much the entire day. However, we got very lucky and actually had ideal weather for most of the day. Near the end of our second loop, it rained for a little bit, which meant that we encountered some mud in our third loop, but remarkably, the conditions improved, and on our fourth loop, we once again were running on decent trails. However, after running nearly 90 miles, the storm hit, and it hit hard. The race director had precautionary measures in place for the severe weather that loomed to ensure that runners were kept safe. We felt fortunate to have avoided the weather as long as we did, and we were able to grind it out through the mud for the final miles, which made finishing even more rewarding. Those runners that were out there longer certainly ran through some challenging conditions and earned a lot of respect. Race participants received great swag, and each got a Solomon Technical shirt, gloves, a trucker hat, coffee, and even a commemorative race jacket all of which came in a reusable tote bag designed by Vera Bradley. 50 mile and 100 kilometer finishers earned a medal, while 100 mile finishers received an awesome belt buckle. This is Jeff Rothorn for Get Out There Magazine, wishing you happy trails.